something! I want to eat your babies! Son, this might sting a bit. Hey, I got a perfectly legal and not shady job for you. Hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerk bag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. All right, make a small incision just below his sternum. But be careful. We don't want to nick the coronary artery. Close enough. An iridium shard offer? How many times I tell you idiots, you can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff? Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. It didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that Tannis lady on the other side of town. She's real into that iridium stuff, but she ain't acting all hoity-toity because she's got a real doctorate. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff needs doing. Finished with that job yet? Hey! I have a job of the utmost importance! Minion! Over here! Your master commands you! You helped me reach Sanctuary, Minion, and for that, you deserve a reward! I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I currently am! In order to find it, you will have to perform a series of devious challenges! First, collect a few brown rocks for me. Then, defeat a badass skag. Then, pilfer the lost staff of Mount Schuler. Then, you shall bring me the head of the Destroyer of Worlds! And then, you shall dance for my enjoyment! <laughs> Now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also, I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. After hours of scientific insanity, you could only imagine in your dreams or in my bed standing over, I have deduced that Jack, the Vault Key, and the Iridium are all connected on a deeper level. Come on back whenever you need some healing. As <laughs> long as you ain't scared of a little tetanus anyways. You need cash? I need... You know what can make a bullet hole that ain't a bullet? Cause I friggin' don't. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapon's causing them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. And don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also unlike me, he actually has a medical license. <laughs>
Keep your mitts off my toy! Find your keepers, losers, die! Now what in the hell's he got? Looks like you found what's been perforating for clientele. Uh, do me a solid and get that gun from him. On. Uh, now that you got Doc Mercer's E Tech gun, why don't you test it out on the local bandits? Message begins. Ah, the bloodshots are killing us! Ah! Pre-recorded <laughs> message ends. You found the happy big motel, huh? Yeah, bloodshots wiped that place out for good after all and kicked him out of sanctuary. You might be able to turn everything back on if you activate that steampunk. <laughs> oh man, the steampunks ain't working either. I see your problem. And I'm gonna take this slow so as you can understand, alright? That thing's broke as hell. Well, better scavenge some replacement. Parts from the other pumps near the motel. Now the valve you're looking for 
is way up at the tip top of that bump. You have to climb your way up that thing like a snort happy red head and a slag bed if you want to get at it. Some skag like turned off our steam pump. Perforate them! Oh, you got the steam thing! Cool! These pumps used to work off some other tech, but people complain so they ain't all switched over.
looks like you got everything you need to repair that steam pump. Uh, just plug in banana boats in, and the bounty board will be as juiced up as an Olympic athlete whose parents have unrealistically high expectations of him.
Right. I was supposed to be studying the effects of these E-Tech guns on bandits. Right now it looks like, uh, looks like if you shoot them a lot, they die. <laughs> oh, did I mention I don't have a medical license? <laughs> 